The jury is deliberating the charges against the Boston Marathon bombing suspect, Johar Tsarnaev. Jurors had questions for the judge this morning at the federal court in Boston, where BUTV News reporter Paul Dudley has this live report via phone. Thank you, Catherine. After meeting for more than seven hours yesterday, the jury left federal court with two questions for Judge George A. O'Toole. Those questions, the first one is about conspiracy, asking the question, can conspiracy pertain to a sequence of events over several days or a single event? The answer is that conspiracy can actually be limited or unlimited in scope. The second question in regards to aiding and abetting. Now, aiding and abetting means that you can that it is intentionally to help someone commit a criminal offense. Still, the defense and the prosecution are and really have always been looking towards the second phase of the trial. The fate of Boston Marathon bomber Yohar Sarnayev is now up to a jury. But guilt is not the question. Uh, I don't think anybody thinks that uh, he will not be convicted. His own defense lawyers say that he did it. The defense continued their push on Monday in closing arguments, reiterating that Yohar was under the influence of his older brother Tamerlan. But now a jury must decide whether he was a partner in terror or persuaded by his older sibling. Prosecution continued their argument, which has remained consistent and full of carnage. The, the more blood, the more gore, it was more important for them to show those images. As Al Chakravati said, this is the, the reality of what happened at the finish line of the Boston Marathon. Though the death penalty is not being decided at this point, both sides have been working towards the second phase of the trial. For the prosecution, they'll continue their focus on those who were most affected. They will present aggravating factors, why he deserves the death penalty as opposed to life in prison. And that will involve talking about the extreme suffering of the victims, uh, talking about the, you know, the idea of using the bomb in a terrorist situation, in a terrorist um, attack. And the defense's argument is designed to convince the jury that Sarnayev is not deserving of the death penalty. Defense is more than anything wants to humanize this person, you know, who's been, you know, shown to do heinous, horrible things. In addition to putting the blame on Tamerlan, Cullen thinks that the defense will also point to Yohar's age and that he came from a dysfunctional family. Cullen adds that all the defense needs is just one juror to believe that Sarnayev is not deserving of the death penalty. If one out of the 12 says, I don't want to put him to death, he doesn't get put to death. It can be 11 to 1 and he'll still be put in prison for the rest of his life. But before the second phase of the trial begins, a jury must come to a verdict. Now, a jury which started out 16 days ago with 18 is now down to 12. Judge O'Toole decided that six were designated as alternates. Those six are not deliberating. That's the very latest from here. I'm Paul Dudley, live at Federal Court with Midday News at Noon. Thank you, Paul. We'll have any late-breaking developments in the deliberations during this newscast or on the BU News service website.